Hey guys, uh, welcome to the second tutorial. I think I got the lag fixed up a bit. So yeah, we're going to multiplayer, create ourselves a server. I only have 10 minutes, so let's make it quick. Alright, and um, if you watched the first tutorial, I'm pretty sure we created a test. So yeah. We'll just edit, we'll open that up because in this tutorial we'll be learning how to create things. So, as you can see, I already created a bunch of stuff because I failed um, at making the second video before because of the mega lag. So, I'm just going to do this over. Alright, one sec, let me just uh, actually. So, here's how you work it just press clear and clear everything. Yes. Alrighty. So first thing, how do we create units? Well, press F1 or click on units and double click. Remember, your first unit will always be on will always be the first um, when you go to select what player you want to be in on, on online. So and make sure your first unit has to be a player. So let's say our first unit will be a commander. So just watch how I do it and what I select. and control make sure the first player is always player see when it's a player it has a red ring around it and you can hold shift and then move your mouse around to um, while the unit is selected to turn him around okay Next thing is how to create groups. Press F2 or click on groups and then we'll create a simple fire fire team. Here you can select your side again. You just really have to explore with everything. Make it infantry. Okay. And there we go, we have a fire team. But right now, since there's no ring around them, that means they are not playable and they will always be AI. That means you, that you cannot select them. So let's uh, let's make them playable. To make them playable, you just double click on, on them. Go to control and select playable. And just press OK. It is a bit of a pain in the ass, but you're going to have to do this with every single man that you created. Whoops. There we go. So there's our fire team. And we'll save it as test again. Now remember that once you save it, and then when you go to preview, preview basically just automatically saves it. So as you can see, we have the commander that we created, and the fire team leader. Now we'll just disable AI, and there is the uh, entire fire team we created and the commander. So we'll go back to edit. Okay, and um, okay, units. Whenever you want to have vehicles that are empty, you're going to have to double click to create a net regular unit. And instead of going to blue 4 and then creating the unit, you have to go down to empty and then choose what unit you want to create. So we'll get um, a regular Humvee. Whoops, sorry. Cars. And now it'll be empty because if we didn't, if we just went to blue four and selected the Humvee, it would be fully staffed. Meaning it would have, well, sorry, it wouldn't be fully staffed, but it would have a driver. Okay, next thing, we have groups down. Uh, how to create triggers? So press F3 or double, or just click on triggers, and then double click wherever you want to put the trigger. So we'll put it here. And here is the entire trigger interface. I'm going to make another tutorial on how to use triggers. Axis A and B is just axis X and Y. That's how big it'll be, uh, the radius of the trigger. So that's the area it'll cover. So press OK. So there you go. 
50 and 50 meters um, okay and now let's create waypoints so we'll make ourselves a unit we'll just make it an AI it's good when you're making enemy AI right so for co-op missions so we'll go to blue 4 we'll just make it an all 4 just for the fun okay okay men I would just make it a regular rifleman so we have an and we'll hold shift to spin them around okay and then we'll press F4 select waypoints then click on the rifleman and then double click where you want him to go his first waypoint there you go so I double click there and now I have the waypoint UI um, select type this is just basically what he will do at the waypoint so for now we just want him to move we'll make him move safe you can experiment with the behaviors you can experiment with the speed but it's really and combat mode we'll set him to never fire so he doesn't shoot us then we'll do the same we'll make another waypoint so he just walks around us the same thing. Okay, now what would happen is since they're all move markers, he would go from here to this first waypoint, then to the second waypoint, then to the third waypoint, and just stand there. He wouldn't do anything really. So, what we want him to actually, we should have made him. Not to up four because he's probably gonna run around. But okay. Then you double click around him or right on him, the last waypoint, and you have to make it cycle if you want him to walk around instead of just do one route, right? If you want to, if you want him to just keep walking around the uh, waypoints, make it cycle. And never fire. All right, so. Uh, Let's test that out. Well, we don't have to save. We'll just click preview. Disable the AI so other guys don't shoot him. Hopefully he doesn't run away. He might though. Yeah. Normally he would just follow the um, the waypoints. But... Um, what, what's he doing? Yeah, normally he would just follow the waypoints. But as you can see, he's like trying to... He wants to shoot me, but I made him to never fire, right? So he won't shoot me. Sorry. And, um, yeah. That's basically how waypoints work. So we'll go back to the editor. Now back in the editor, we'll create markers. Synchronizing and modules I'll do in another tutorial create a marker same thing let's say we want to create a marker to specify something in this entire trigger area we we'll just double click then you have the marker UI we'll name it marker 1 you eventually use those um, in scripts and triggers to specify certain markers um, then we'll go to ellipse because we just want to create a circle that's the size of the trigger area make it uh, green we'll say it's something good and I'll make it solid. And the trigger area was 50 meters by 50 meters, so we'll do the same. And we'll just, the actual text, we'll just put the, um, let's put the, I don't know, go here. There we go. Now we'll just drag the marker right into position. And there we go. We have our basic stuff. And then, if I didn't say before, but here you can um, change weather and stuff. But yeah, that's how everything works. So if we go to preview, okay, you can see our marker here. Triggers are invisible, it's just an editor. You can see our marker here, and yeah, and the guys we created. And that's how we make stuff. So I hope that helped you a bit. Um, next tutorial will probably be um, 